Hi everyone, welcome back to Kelly Martin Speaks. I meant to do an update of uh, week two in my CBD cannabis oil journey, but I had a bit of life challenges, so I wasn't able to do it then. So I'm doing week two now and I'll do week three at the end of this week. Okay, so how has my experience with CBD oil been? It's been quite strange. Uh, I've been experiencing quite a, a deep depression for about two months, starting to pull through now and it's lifting. Uh, the actual CBD oil itself has a strange taste. I can, it's quite a strong hemp flavour, but it's not too bad. You do get used to it. I think with CBD oil, you've really got to experiment with your own dosage levels. Uh, mine is uh, 10% and at first I began with uh, one drop in the morning on an empty stomach and I tried having a, a drop in the evening and even just that one drop for me, I'm quite sensitive to food and different types of drinks. One drop affected me quite a lot. Um, it didn't really affect the depression so much. I would say if it did anything for the depression, it probably made it a lot less worse than it could have been, but it really helped any anxiety symptoms I had. I was, it was a bit strange at first when I first took it because uh, it was very much a slowing down on a day when I really felt quite anxious. I, I put one drop under my tongue. I left it there for about three minutes and then I washed it down with some water. And what I felt almost immediately was this, the only way I can describe it as a slowing down process, it was like my mind began to slow down my body began to slow down, <coughs> excuse me, and it was a mellowing out. That's the best way I can describe it. It's like a mellowing out. And I think for anxiety, it's brilliant what I've heard. I've, I've read a lot about it and anxiety, and it did really make a difference to me. Now, you can't tell at the minute, my skin's quite bad, but this is to do with hormones and stress. But another good side effect of the CBD oil I've noticed over the past two weeks that I've been taking it is more of an oil production in my skin. Now I'm 42 and my skin was starting to get really dry. I was needing a lot more moisturizer. Um, I've got quite large pores anyway. And within, I would say, a week of using CBD oil, the increase in oil on my skin increased so much that I didn't need to put any cream on before I went to bed at night. I, I, that was a total surprise to me and totally unexpected. So yeah, there's not a lot to say apart from, yeah, it really mellowed me out. Uh, I had to not take it before bed. A lot of people use it before bed and it helps with insomnia and I think everyone's different. I tried it a few nights and it actually kept me awake. So yeah, try, try one drop, try two drops. Uh, now I sort of take one or two drops in the morning and then a few hours later I may take one or two as well. Uh, I don't take it in the evening for me because I'm quite sensitive to it. So that's my little update for now. I'll give you another update at the end of the week as I go on because um, the depression symptoms are starting to lift now so I can really focus on what other benefits CBD oil has for me. So I hope this has helped you. I'll be writing a full blog on this as well on kellymartinspeaks.co.uk and I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.